Hey everybody, I don't know if you've had this experience, but I sure have had it a bunch. You go, you grab your banjo out of the case. It's fretless, it's fretless as it should be. You go to play a few bars and your intonation is wildly off and it sounds terrible. I have a solution. I call it the fretless pre-flight check. I'm gonna show you how to do it in a couple seconds, a couple seconds today on Banjo Quest. All right, before we dive in, I wanna let you know, I am doing a fretless boot camp on February 22nd, seven days of brutal fretless workouts live streamed from the comfort of your own homes over on Patreon. This is going to be for patrons only at the $5 level and up. Check it out, it is well worth it. We're gonna be working hard. For those of you who don't have a fretless banjo and still wanna take part in the bootcamp, come on over, it's gonna be awesome. I've written this bootcamp, so yes, it does cater to the fretless board, but anybody with a banjo will get a ton out of this bootcamp, I promise. Head on over to Banjo Quest. All right, that's enough of that. Let's get into our pre-flight. I'm going to show you how to do the pre-flight check in double C and G standard tuning. And of course, this is going to work for our relative tunings, D and A, so you can tune right up and the fingerings will still be the same. I'm in double C right now. I'm gonna show you your pre-flight. Before you play a bar on your banjo, get it in tune. Obviously, we wanna get the banjo in tune. And then we're just simply going to find a hand position that's going to be your home hand position that you can work out of when you play your tune. It's gonna be the one chord. So, I get my index finger on what would be the second fret. Thereabouts, I find it with my ears. That's a little flat. That's a little sharp, back it down. Support it with my thumb. Get the thumb behind that finger relatively. Pre-flight is over. Now let me show you how this works in real time. Ready to go, I'm ready to play. And then I can make these minor adjustments on the fly while I'm playing my tunes. But this pre-flight, couple strokes across the strings with your claw hammer, hand, find that one chord, and you are ready to take off. All right, let's figure this out in G tuning. All right, so we get tuned up to G, two taps, abraca banjo, flip it, and you're in G. Now, this is our one chord, right? So we can't use a one chord to do our pre-flight. I like to use the double stop C shape, my favorite C chord in existence in G standard. Love cheating a bit on my chords. Less work, the better. Fewer fingers down on the board, the better. So I'm gonna use this to get, to do my little pre-flight hand position check. So I'm just gonna get into my two fingers, see, hunt a little bit for where it sounds good, mark where my thumb is, and I'm done. The fingers now should just find their natural place. I'll make some minor intonation adjustments as I go. And then I'm done, pre-flight is over. Keep the pre-flight really short. Couple little things to think about though. You're going to be tempted to find visually a mark on the neck or a mark on the banjo or something that will give you the cue that you're in the right place. That's cool for a single session, but when you put the banjo down and then you come back to it, you want to do your pre-flight again. Don't rely on your eyes to help you. Your tuning may be a little off, some things may be a little weird, so you want to do the pre-flight, then get your visual check, and you're good to fly. Some things to keep in mind. I like, I really like curly maple necks, and not just because they're totally gorgeous like this Kevin Enoch here, but because these little lines will give me some visual cues sometimes as to hand position. So I will often do my pre-flight, Take a note visually about where a little curly Q um, stripe is, where my thumb is, and then I'll just kind of, you know, casually every once in a while, get my thumb over that little curly bit and I'll find my intonation home base again. All right, that does it for me. A short video, a quick one today. I do hope you guys will consider joining me February 22nd, that's the first day of a seven day fretless banjo intensive. This is Fretless February. I'll see you next time on Banjo Quest.